Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today I'm going to show why the terms of the Fibonacci sequence, the ratio of the terms of the Fibonacci sequence, approaches the golden ratio. Okay, so we're going to call the sequence, first of all, Fn. We're going to use this notation, F sub n. And we're going to find the limit as n approaches infinity of F sub n. That means we're going to find out what happens, actually, we're going to find the limit as n approaches infinity of f sub n plus 1 out of f sub n. Okay, so that's the ratio of, of uh, successive terms in the sequence. And we're going to find this ratio as n gets infinitely large. I'm going to call that L for now. We, don't, we, are, we haven't uh, shown what that is equal to yet. I'm going to call that L, and we're going to use that in a second to find out what this limit is. Okay, so one way to write the Fibonacci sequence, we can write it as a rule. We can write it as this rule. f of n plus 1 equals f sub n plus f sub n minus 1. That's one way to write it. So you add together the previous two terms, and you get the next term in the sequence. Okay, so what we're going to do here, actually we're going to do this trick. We're going to divide everything by f sub n. And what do we get here? Well, this simplifies to 1. So we're going to have f sub n plus 1 out of f sub n equals 1 plus f sub n minus 1 out of f sub n. And then, in order to do this substitution, we're going to take the limit of everything here as n tends to infinity. Okay, so what do we get? Um, well, we already saw that the limit as f sub n plus 1 out of f sub n equals L. So we have that here, so we can substitute that in. That's L. And this is 1. And this is, this is the reciprocal of the same thing. So this is the reciprocal of L, which is 1 over L. And now if we solve this uh, equation, we can find out what the limit is. So I'm going to multiply both sides by L and get L squared equals L plus 1. L squared minus L minus 1 equals 0. And use the quadratic equation. Negative, negative 1 plus or minus root negative 1 squared minus 4AC divided by 2 will give me L. So I get 1 plus or minus root 1 plus 4 out of 2. So I get two uh, values for L, 1 plus root 5 out of 2, and 1, oops, 1 minus root 5 out of 2. Now this number is negative, and we know the limit cannot be negative, so we're going to cross that out, and that means that this is our answer, which is equal to the golden ratio. So the limit as n tends to infinity of quotient of terms in the Fibonacci sequence equals 1 plus root 5 out of 2, which equals the golden ratio.